the shit out of it. I don't want you to be scared. I'm good, man. What's up? I got up real early this morning. I kept asking myself, why am I up? Then I remember today's Frank's birthday. I said, Frank, what are you trying to tell me? Then I remember what would Frank be doing if he was still here with us today. You know what I remember? Nah, man. What's going on? First thing Frank would do on his birthday is he would get up and go get his hair cut. I said, I know that's not why I'm up. Then you came to mind. So, man, what's up? Hey, you want a cut? No, nah, that's not why I'm here. So, what's up? One thing I've always known about you is that you were smart and you kept to yourself. That you would do anything for money. Everything we do is for money, right? Everything's not worth it. Man, that could be true. Everything just isn't worth it, Ty. Listen, Jess, man. You ain't know what I was going through at the time, man. Didn't know what you was going through? Ty, you could have just took the money. How much did you get? Five. You do realize it was 50000 in the bag, right? You killed Frank for $5,000? I ain't even bothered to check. You don't think that's a problem? Hey, man. I told you would be there to kill you. Frank showed up. I did what I had to do. So the hit was for me? I mean, we both know you was the man out of the crew, man. They told us one man only. Why do you think they told us one man only? It's been several drops we went on that was one man only. And I know it was for me as soon as I saw it. Jess, what's up? What's up, man? What's going on? That said that was for me. This one's for you. I mean, well, well, good thing we know you ain't no killer. You know what I mean? You ain't really about that life. Boy, if times change. I don't nothing about you say killer, man. Nothing. Mac, Dirk, CM. Nigga, that had shit to do with you. That was about some chicks, and she was fucking with all of them. They did her dirty, and then she did what she had to do. Mac, Dirk, CM, now you. <sighs> all right, look. I know you all here mad and shit, and you're a little pissed, but you ain't gonna do shit. Hey. Don't worry. I just need to hear you say it. It was fun while it lasted. Hey, you've earned my trust. You've shown complete dedication, not only for this case, but other cases in the past. I've also found out some information as to who's committing all these murders. That's that's great news, Lieutenant. Mm -hmm. What did you what did you find? Well, we made a positive ID, okay. and I'm giving you the credit. Okay. Right. I'm also promoting you to lead detective, and you'll make the bus this afternoon. <laughs> L Lieutenant, are you sure? Well, you've earned it. Okay. <sighs> now listen, I won't be there uh, this afternoon. Okay. But I trust that you'll do everything the right way. Yes, ma'am. And I'll make the announcement at the press conference. Okay? Oh, my God. Thank you, Lieutenant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Thanks. stop. That's enough. Oh. Don't, don't hug me. I don't want everybody to think I'm soft <clears throat> and then everybody be trying to hug me. I'm sorry. Thank you so much, Lieutenant. Mm -hmm. I gotta go visit my brother today. Okay. I won't let you down. I believe that. That's why I chose you. Now go get ready. Yes, ma'am. Aaliyah. Yes, ma'am. Congratulations. How'd you know? I just know. Listen, 
We gotta get out this motel immediately. Okay, what do you need me to do? Get all our shit together and get it out. Okay. Get rid of it. Right. And I need y'all to meet me at the top before sundown. Before sundown? Yeah. How are we supposed to get there? Don't worry about how to get there. Just get there. Okay, all right, come on. Okay, guys, we're going to be headed off to the press conference in a minute here. But just so no one in here is surprised, I have promoted Ford to lead detective on this case. Let's give her a hand. I'm just honored to be placed in this position. <clears throat> now, we'll be split into teams on this to be in two possible locations. The teams will be given their assignments briefly. We've obviously all worked very hard on this case, and it's about time we nailed this son of a bitch. Look, you need to get your shit together. Jesse wants us there soon, and I'm not really sure how we're gonna get there yet. My stuff is together. You worry about you. I'm ready. Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? Well, there's two people in this room, and I'm not talking to myself. Girl, if Jesse didn't want you to come, I would leave your ass here. Well, since your man wants me there, guess where I'll be? You're pushing it. Nope. <laughs> you don't really have a real reason not to like me. Is it because I'm prettier than you? Bitch, please. <laughs> oh, you think I'm gonna take your man or something? Definitely not worried about that. Then what is it, Samantha? You taking my man is one thing I'm not concerned about. <laughs> Who says I want your man? I can see it all over your face. You want what we have. <laughs> Who says I don't want what he has? Bitch, you definitely ain't got a chance with me. Whatever, girl. Don't put your hands on me. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming. We want to give you uh, progress and keep you up to date as to uh, the progression of our investigation. Now, as you all know, we've had a series of murders taking place in our community. And what we found is that uh, the suspects are connected in some type of way. We're going to release the identified deceased names uh, momentarily. And we've kept them under wraps because of the investigation as well as respect for uh, the families. I've placed Detective Aaliyah Ford as lead detective on the case. Um, she's going to assemble a team to apprehend our suspect. As you all know, these suspects are armed and extremely dangerous, so please, we're gonna proceed with caution in order to make our community safe for all of us. Does anyone have any questions? Do you think a specific <sighs> Bitch, I told you I was gonna beat your ass. I lied. At this time, there will be no more questions. Okay. We have a job to do, and that would be to make the city a safer place to live for all of us. Thank you. Gina! Gina! Open up! The fuck?
Alexander? Hey. You're under arrest. Whoa, no, no, no. Hands this, against the vehicle. This, this is a mistake. Hands against the vehicle. <laughs> Sir, this, this has to be a mistake. I am the pastor. How have you been? I've been good. How about yourself? I'm good. good. I'm good. I'm good. What? You look good. Thanks. Uh, so do you. Yeah. I haven't seen you since the funeral. Yeah. Um, I went away for a little while. Okay. You know, I wish I, I wish my brother Frank had more friends around like you. Frank was a good friend. Mm -hmm. Just wish we can catch the bastards that did it. You know, the crazy thing is that one of the suspects was just murdered last week. Wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, I hope it's the right person. Well, you know, we have some suspects in custody, and the case is moving right along. Okay. Yeah. Good. Um, I really got to get going. Okay. Well, you know what? Take my card. Okay. Give me a call sometime. We'll do lunch. Definitely. Okay? Hey. All right. You take care. All right. Good to see you. Good to see you as well. All right. Little brother, what do you know? Lieutenant Edwards. We found a female body here in the room. No male in sight. Okay, well to my understanding, I thought the suspect was just arrested at the church. Looks like everything's been cleaned up except for the body. Okay, well hang tight because I have something else in mind. I'll be at the station in a minute. Okay, Lieutenant, I'll see you then. <sighs> Someone get CSI down here, now! And don't touch anything. Nothing. Talk. 